assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to your channel the anatomy canvas uh, in today's class i am going to explain the model of the kidneys the ureter and the urinary bladder uh, along with the blood vessels which are present over here so in this model first you can see these are the two kidneys which are present on the posterior abdominal wall over here and above the kidney you can see the suprarenal gland also called the adrenal gland so this one is the inferior vena cava this one is the abdominal aorta and this inferior vena cava receiving uh, the two renal veins over here mm, and uh, also here you can see this one is the gonadal vein which is present similarly on this side you can also see this one is the abdominal uh, aorta and also you can see the different three main branches which are given off from the anterior aspect of the abdominal aorta this one is the celiac trunk the superior mesenteric artery and then the inferior mesenteric artery these are the gonadal arteries which are present and then this abdominal artery divides into common iliac uh, arteries over here now looking at into the model of the kidneys over here you can see uh, in in this model over here you can see just a minute that uh, this is the model of the kidney the inner area this these are the actually the pyramids which are present in the kidney and outer this area is the cortex of the kidney mm, these pyramids then open into the minor calyces the major calyces and then the urinary pelvis over here so this one is the ureter and this ureter is present on posterior abdominal wall and then it crosses at the pelvic brim and then it enters into the urinary bladder so uh, here in this model also so you can see the cross section of the kidney as well as the whole of the kidney which is present the renal vessels both the renal artery and the renal vein which is present also the cortex the medulla the major and minor calyces the renal pelvis the uh, ureter itself crossing the pelvic brim and entering into the urinary bladder and in this location you can see over here that this is the uh, urinary bladder which is present uh, this urinary bladder this it has an apex it has an a body of the urinary bladder it has a superior surface and the two infralateral surfaces and behind is the base of the urinary bladder and over here where it is related to the prostate gland on in respect you can see the neck of the urinary bladder so this urinary bladder it has apex the superior surface the infralateral surface the anterior border the neck and behind is the base here you can see the different muscles which are present um, uh, on uh, which the uh, kidney is present which are in posterior relations to the kidney so here medially you can see the soas major muscle then you can see the quadratus lumborum lumborus um, quadratus lumborum and here you can see the transversus abdominal muscle so these are the different muscles and uh, uh, the blood vessels which are present in the model in this model also the kidney the ureter and the urinary bladder now we have another model of the kidney over here so uh, this model of the kidney first i will complete the model here you can see so this one is the um, uh, this is the uh, kidney and here you can see the suprarenal gland and here you can see this one is the renal vein renal artery and these two here you can see these are the inferior uh, suprarenal artery and veins which are present over here so i remove the anterior aspect to show you the inner aspect over here so in this area you can see these are the pyramids which are present over here in this area and these pyramids are covered by the outer cortex outer to this is the capsule of the kidney so these pyramids are uh, then uh, this area is the uh, uh, tip of the pyramid which is present over here and then it opening into the area of the minor calyx then which is opening into the area of the major calyx and then forming the uh, then it is forming the renal pelvis so tip of the papilla then the minor calyx 
and then the major calyx and then the renal pelvis here you can see also the different blood vessels which are present over here so as you know one a whole pyramid covered by the uh, cortex this form the lobe of the kidney so in between the lobes of the kidney you can see the interlobar arteries which are present these interlobar arteries uh, they um, travel between the two lobes of the kidney and at the junction of the corticomedullary area they divide dichotomously into the arcuate arteries and these arcuate arteries are running transversely over here so here you can see the arcuate arteries then these arcuate arteries gives off branches which are the interlobular arteries here in between uh, this area between the uh, two pyramids you can see the uh, column of the proteins which are present so this is the renal uh, pyramid outer is the cortex and in this pyramid again you can see the outer area and the inner area of the pyramid the interlobar arteries which are present the arcuate arteries which are present the tip of the papilla here you can see area of the minor calyx area of the major calyx then the renal uh, pelvis over here and continuing and continuing downward as the ureter so this was was uh, the another model of the kidney now i will show you the another model and here you can see that this is the model of the urinary bladder as you have seen over here also so this was the anatomical position of the urinary bladder and also you can see over here that this is the anatomical position of the urinary bladder so this urinary bladder it has an apex it has a superior surface over here it has two infralateral surfaces it has anterior border uh, the urine uh, the prostate which is present and it has the uh, base of the urinary bladder so um, on each side you can see the opening of the uh, ureters which are present over here this is at the neck which is covered by the prostate gland and base over here you can see posteriorly this is the base and this base this area is in relation to the coils of the intestine this one is the uh, vas deferens which is present these are the these are the openings of the ureter vas deferens these two are the seminal vesicles and then the prostate so the area triangular area which is present over here between the two vas deferens um, it is separated from the intestine by the fascia of the den and villiers so this is again another mcq for you as well now i will remove this part to show you the interior aspect so here you can see over here so if it is visible in this area i will show you in a close view that this these are the opening of the urine ureter over here so on each side over here also you can see the opening of the ure ureter so these two opening and this is the urethra so this area is the trigone of the urinary bladder in this area in the wall of the urethra you can see the internal urethral sphincter is present this area is the prostatic urethra and here you can see the prostate which is present so prostate the prostatic urethra the internal urethral orifice the openings of the ureters on each side and trigone of the bladder so this is the internal view of the urinary bladder and the external view also another important point you must remember that the superior surface as you know just a minute this was the apex and this was the superior surface so this superior surface is covered by peritoneum and this is also another very important mcq while the infralateral surfaces they are not covered by the peritoneum and in posterior surface this triangular area is separated from the um, coils of the uh, intestine by the fascia of the den and villiers so these are your mcqs as well this is all about the model of the urinary system thank you very much for your attention and allah fiz